Hey guys, hey everyone. On this video, I'd like to share with you some thoughts about the uh, about about an idea that, that the, I had I had recently. I was like he, I, a student of mine, a PhD student. He's he's like uh, trying to do his uh, entry on a PhD program, and I'm offering you support. So should you need any support, you can let me know. Hey. In his specific case, uh, he is like uh, he's doing this entry exam and so on for his PhD program, and I offer him support. So should you need any support, you can let me know. Uh, and he was asked to make a, a critical, a critical review of a paper. See that they, I'm not going to reveal his name because I keep up the privacy of my students. Uh, so uh, in his specific case, I. Uh, I, I told him that I, was, I will remain for two months uh, without publishing the review and so on because it's a critical review. I will, I'm helping give him support to do, but I also wrote some uh, of the review and the, maybe I'm not going to use that in the future as maybe an example, maybe my uh, social media. So essentially, here I want to show you. Uh, I want to give you some tips, some advice. How can you do a literal, not literal review, but a critical review of a paper? That can be quite useful if you are asked, if you are asked to do it. I think it's quite common if you are doing a PhD program. Uh, it can be as well quite effective if, if you want to keep it right every day or maybe every month. I don't know. I think that if you are doing a PhD, a Master of Science, or maybe an undergraduate should keep a kind of routine of writing, uh, writing period periodically because according to my own experience, do not leave it for the last time because uh, if you, it can be quite hard and it can be quite uh, hard, quite uh, difficult if you do not keep writing because your brain will not be able to, to just like out of the blue, uh, just to write a PGT or write a huge document. I don't case I wrote about uh, about uh, 400 pages of my PhD thesis, but I know that some PhD thesis they have just like about 100 pages. It depends on you, it depends on the program, I don't know, it's about it out here. So my, my, my advice is that you keep writing, do not stop writing, write every day, write, uh, write uh, all the coding that you have. So let me, let me show, that it's, 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 a, it's a very simple approach. First, we have the paper. It's a randomly selected paper. There is no specific reason why I have selected this paper. I just had this paper around here. Uh, I, I think the paper is nice. I, I read the paper. Uh, and the, um, specifically, so so the challenge is suppose that you have to write a, you have to write a review of this paper. You have to write a criticism of this paper. It can be because you were asked to. It can be because you wanted to make a kind of documentation. Because when you do a PhD or Master of Science, there is a chapter or there is a section or even all over the, your, your work that you're supposed to uh, have a kind of a big idea of the, the literature. You're supposed to know what's going on. It's not like you just take things out of your head. I mean, you have some kind of a, uh, anomalies on the, on the, for example, John Ash, he, as the story goes, he didn't cite anyone. Albert Schein didn't cite anyone. But I think they are outliers. In general, you have to cite people. I already asked. One time I asked uh, a board on a scientific event uh, which of them would accept a paper without citation, citation. Just the one accept. If he said the paper, if the paper were good, he would accept. But in general, they do not accept. You, you must cite someone. It, it's even nice because you know what people is doing. I think it's not that bad. So here we go, more or less, the, the simple step. The first step is that you, you should start reading the paper. The first, the first thing I want to I wanna let you know that we, do not wait until the end of the paper to start to write because, I mean, you have the eye, so I'm supposed to write the, until the end because the point that if you do that, your brain will be overwhelmed. I mean, it will be a lot of information for the process. So uh, one nice trick that I like to use is that whenever, I, as you see, whenever I'm, I'm, I'm reading the paper, I, I just make some marks. So uh, suppose, I mean, I'll take here, for example, a, a, a very random, a, a very, uh, yeah, very. So here have a word. You have uh, here we have a word open. It can be any, any editor you prefer. It can be LaTeX. It can be uh, just uh, TXT. It's up to you. 
there is no specific reason why you should choose one. The only important thing that I think that you should choose uh, at toilet is very easy for you to use, so you don't do not get stressed. I will also suggest you to take some days to that. Do not try to do it like just one day because the idea of the criticism of the when you are trying to make the opinion about the paper that you're supposed to somehow to let your brain give an opinion about the paper. So it's meaningless that if you just copy and paste. So you're supposed somehow to create an opinion. Somehow you're supposed to bring that knowledge of the paper to you or your own domain because that's the idea of a PhD. You're supposed to have an opinion about the literature that you are working on. So it may take a while. So do not let that be the last time. So try to do it uh, periodically. In also, that's a nice, very nice exercise. If you want to build like a criticism, if you want to have your kind of a, your own opinion about what's going on in the literature. So it can be overwhelming if you let it to the last time. So it can be very quite frustrating. It can be very, and you also have to keep in mind that life, the world is not going to stop because you are doing a PhD. So someday be bad, someday be good. And here I'm talking about your, your emotional state. So try to do it in a very one week, two weeks, one month, or periodically. I suggest if you are doing a PhD that you do it periodically, that you always keep reading and make this kind of documentation. So, so have the editor here. So you go to the paper, then you select a piece of the paper. Uh, again, after I, I, I wait for two months, of silence with my student. After that, I'm going to make to release that as, a, as one example uh, for this video. How was the final result of this technique? So here you have the you, you choose. I'm just pick randomly here a piece of the clip here. I, I I found this part here interesting, so I just mark it. So let's suppose that I wanna uh, suppose let's suppose that I want to put this part. Here. So I found this part important. Uh, I like to use uh, the, the, the TXT because it, it eliminates all the uh, form formatting, all the uh, it can be uh, so it can it can eliminate all the formatting that you can sometimes you can come when you copy and paste it can also copy the format something good something bad sometimes so just keep a, a, a uniform yeah, kind of uh, just one format on your. Word, I, ha I just like to use text TXT to remove the format. So, here you see capacity typically describe ability and limitation. So, that's a very good uh, assertion. So, you can do that typically. Uh, or, so, you do that as you are reading the paper. So, do not wait until the end. So, it's good to, 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 to do that. So, here you have this assertion. So, how, uh, so, now the challenge is. If you found that part important, if you found that part like it, uh, interesting enough, it's supposed, it's supposed some, somehow to ring a bell in your, in your head. Maybe. That's the idea. The idea of the criticism that's supposed to somehow to bring the knowledge of the paper to your own world. And never take the, the paper as, as a final. Like it. Keep in mind that science is a kind of a, a error and trial and error process. So there is a chance that also that you are really wrong. Or, or, or at least it is not totally right. So that's the idea of, of the criticism. That's supposed to, if I do a PhD, for instance, most likely you, are, you, you have to build your own knowledge, your own expertise. So it's supposed to have a very strong idea about what you are reading. Really, really. So it can be an exercise to build criticism, to build like, uh, to build your, your own way of thinking. So capacity typically describes ability and limitation. Here, I'm just, I'm, see that I am not an expert in this area. So I'm just like doing some random thoughts, just teach. Suppose that I have some question about this. Uh, so you can do something like this, according to my own experience. And also, also ABC 2001, can use citation here. Capacity. Can also means lack of flexibility. See that I'm just just some random part. This uh, creates see the nice of the world that it always helps you. So as yes, it's correct. 
the best they can also mean lack of flexibility. This creates a potential. See that I'm not doing here all the process. So here you already have a piece wrote. So you have a piece here, then you have a piece here that you, you wrote yourself. You do that like he, several times. So sooner or later you're going to have a huge text with your own opinion. So you can decide. Here you have a, a direct citation, but you may have here as well. You may like he, you may eliminate. So remember that if you eliminate, it's supposed to change the word. So it's, a, it's a indirect citation. You're supposed to put the name of the author as, as well. Okay. So it's supposed to. So it's, uh, after you eliminate the 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 double prime, you're supposed as well to um, the quotation mark. You're supposed as well to rewrite the word. So I I rewrote. I didn't rewrite here, but you're supposed to do that. Otherwise, it's like it's wrong. You have to do the excitation. Uh, so I'm not going to do here. I'm as I said, told I'm going to wait for about two months for the for the student of mine to protect him. Otherwise, if I publish that, uh, somebody else can find online. I don't know how what he's going to do if he's going to change the text. But just to make sure that by any means I do not create problem for him. Uh, on his PhD, I'm going to leave it for now uh, between ourselves. Uh, also, I'm going to protect his name and so on. But what I want to say, but I mentioned him here because if you need help, I'm I already I'm working on that, helping students to get their PhD and so on. So uh, that's it, guys. It's very simple. But the point is that uh, the secret of this, of this technique is that you do it regularly, like every day. It can be 10 minutes a day, I mean, 10 minutes, not that much, I mean, 10 minutes, you go there, and then I like to use this kind of mark here, so I know wh wh where I stop. Uh, if you go here in the corner, you have all your marks, you can write something here, you can make notes, you can, for example, I like to let's see here, I have, uh, the paper has an investment written to so see, see that I wrote something here. So all of this can be used in, on your pitch seat. So at the moment that you are reading, most likely in your brain, inside your brain, you start to ring some bell. The idea here is not to be afraid. It's not it doesn't matter how ridiculous it is, right? You just put it right somewhere. Then later decide whether or not you're going to publish that. But the idea that's supposed to write. See that he no one is going to see here what you wrote. So it doesn't matter how stupid what you wrote. I mean even you can use it even as towards this guy is 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 uh, some bullshit. I don't know, no one is going to read that. After you, 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 you wrote all your emotions about what you wrote, you can decide what, how you're going to write, you can decide the, the word, you can decide everything. So the process is quite simple. As you see, here is, a, is another note I wrote. So I just mark here. So uh, as you see, so I already have a lot here. So by doing that, it's amazing how, how fast you can make a criticism, how fast you can create your own opinion about anything. It can be because your professor asked you, it can be because maybe uh, you wanted to keep. Uh, in my specific case, I I I used in my PhD. I used to write every day. I used to read all the time, so I used to make this kind of note. When I had to write my PhD, it was already written. It happened as well with my Master of Science. It happened as well with my graduation. So that's a technique that I use for quite a while, and it, I can tell you, it just it works just like you. It's very quite nice. But it, it requires you discipline. It requires you to every day, all the time, to not to live to. I, the, the, uh, one of the biggest mistakes I have seen people do around me as, a, as classmates is when they live, they live to the last time to write. I mean, uh, it, your brain can do it. Maybe you are addicted to the last time adrenaline, the last time ecstasy. Uh, but yeah, I still suggest that you try to do it every day. They let your brain cook up, let your brain do his job. Because I was seeing a researcher recently, I was, I'm reading a book about the happiness, the high happiness hypothesis. And there was, the book is based on some psychology research. They found that about the, not the first time I, I see this kind of research, but about 90% nine, 90, 90 of our thinking is doing on background. It means that you have to let your brain do it to 
it works very nice if you let it like you just show you some kind of information. Just go for a walk, just go for a bath, do whatever you want to do, let your brain do the rest. So keep our as well this document around. Because sometimes you are just find yourself like think about what you read, just write here. So the idea here is supposed to make your own opinion about about a paper, create criticism, a commentary, and so on. So that's all guys. Thanks for the attention. I hope that helped you somehow.